hello my beautiful people from youtube welcome back to my channel i uh, want to go ahead and take this time to show you all guys where i decided to put my craft room this room been in two to three different places in the house if you see my earlier videos or past videos um we just purchased this house like a year ago so i've been kind of moving around stuff all over to see where i want to put it is it going to look good there is it going to function there so as it is right now i think this is the room where i'm going to keep my craft so without further ado let me go ahead and show you all guys around here we go right here this is the door that comes to the room this picture is the picture I had in the apartment, going in the, the hallways towards the, the kids' bedroom. Then on this wall here, I have this little dresser, I don't know what you call it, which I host in some things in there. You know, I get some paper for my card making, other little stuff. Uh, here in this one I have things I'm collecting to make some wreaths because I start making my wreaths I'm gonna turn it into a homemade business and in this drawer I have these little note kind of pad um, you know that I get uh, what I do with these um, oopsie what I do with these when I got these is um, I go ahead and um, I don't know if you, any of you guys um, know this guy named um, Deepak, Deepak Chopra. They do a thing, he do something with Oprah called 21 Day Challenge kind of meditation stuff. So I like to go ahead and, and um, follow him. And then what I do is I take notes. Um, and then you know then certain days i would go over it and um you know meditate back on the message so this is what i use these these for you know to write down and keep keep my notes in there let me go ahead and put this back all right so right here these are the two twin beds my boys used to sleep on you know growing up um and traveling around with the militaries but the boys are grown mans now so young man grown young mans uh, um so they don't need this little bit no more because their feet will be hanging so i got them some bigger beds for when they come in the other bedroom so i have these two beds here uh eventually i'm gonna get rid of them and um go ahead and put a what you call that uh, a day bed and the reason I'm gonna put a day bed there with a little strolly to pull out in case anybody else come um, we still have some extra bed for them to lay plus that will allow me to utilize the center of the room to put a table to do my craft and wreaths on so yeah so um as you see I got that little table there you know some of these kind of little Zen thing was with me for a couple years using as decoration for my massage room when I was living in the apartment in Florida and um so yeah they now up in this room so I got this little rug here and check this out you guys I don't have much storage I'm kind of debating and not debating but looking in to see what kind of storage I want to put in here to hold all my craft stuff so check even underneath the bed there is containers with a lot of craft. I'm kind of sorting them out. Oh, this one doesn't have none. Okay, good. So, yeah. So, that's that. And then on this this wall, I am holding on to my daughter, Rats doll. I don't know why. Well, I guess I do know why. Okay, so then this little thing here, I saw it on a clearance. Say namaste. I like it. Buy it. I'm going to find somewhere for it to look nice. And this is another thing i got this and the other one that i show you that one and this one i got these in um i believe ross 
for under forty dollars it was twenty four or something like that um and then the lamp i think the lamp was 30 or 40 not too sure i don't want to lie to you but around that because certain things that i purchased i said like this i will not go over 40 or lamp like this i will not go over 30 or 20 so around that that price so in here don't have much like i said when i was moving the room from the the things from the basement up here i was just pulling stuff um just to hurry up and get stuff out the way so here in these um furniture i think they call them expedite i call them little cubicle thing well anyway so in here like i say everything is just unorganized um just throw stuff in there here i got these things more the little book like i tell you but these is actually kids one i'm gonna send that one for my niece uh there we go all these things that gonna be used utilized for my craft and here i got these brushes and these my daughter shades when she was a little girl still holding on to them okay so let me see what else okay that glue gun um oh lighting here we go let's see okay i purchased that glue gun on um amazon i paid 20 dollars for it and when it get here uh instead of one i have two so at the moment i have to go check back on and see hmm did i purchase two did matt put one in the description and i don't know so when i check it was actually 19 20 dollars so i guess it was buy one get another one hey i ain't mad at it two is better than one so um yeah here i got other little stuff there's um those books contain the kids stuff like the certificate for student of the month and things like that that a mommy collect through the years so i got to get them organized knowing that i'm going to have a dedicated place a space you know to put things and work so um i could give it to them if they want it then they keep it it's not they throw it away i don't know whatever and the reason i did that because growing up you know uh, my mom didn't got no time for all that so at least i got something to pass down to them so over here in this container here um i have these little grossy things one day i was out and about and was passing through michael's and see they have them and um just have to go ahead and get it uh the original price said 19 oopsie it's not focusing said 19.99 but i think i got them i don't know they, they wasn't expensive probably like two or three dollars so from 19 to that i mean you, you can't really beat that don't you so then over here in this one like i said all these things it's the clearance rack you guys and like i said probably on the 10 or 5 these probably on the 5 so it's probably was like two dollars or something like that um and these are the little thing that you know i saw this last couple well last year at the ending of the year I start kind of looking into some YouTube channels, kind of get an idea of what is it the YouTube people, the YouTubers kind of blog and video about, you know, just to make sure I'm kind of running beside them, but not trying to compete with them, you know, bring my own orig originality to my videos that I will be posting for y'all guys. So, but I, I don't remember a name, but there's a lady that she used these things actually it's two of them is a uh, a little more lady in age and then there's a young girl they do some fabulous work um i believe one of the girl name is lg queen if i'm not mistaken she does some awesome thing with that i'm gonna have to take some notes i love her channel <clears throat> oh excuse me so yeah i got those to put on my wreaths so um that is that then i think i show you up here and yeah i got my mystery machine that was my favorite um cartoon growing up with scooby-doo <laughs> yeah i like scooby-doo still like him yes yeah, scooby 
Uh -huh. Okay, moving along here. Once again, more stuff. All these are picture frame. Oh, 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 that hurt. Yeah, picture frame. These are little wall things. You see, I got those in Hobby Lobby. Uh, there was, I think, two for the seven. Let me see. Hope it don't. Yeah, two forty-seven. Then I got them for one forty-eight. So I don't know. Some of these things too. What I do is um like Christmas time. I will see these sales and stuff. And for Christmas time, I just come in my little closet or drawer and pull them out. And then um when I took the little um angel off the Christmas tree. And depending on what they're asking for, then I will put a little extra in it for the kids for Christmas. So most of the time, too, that's why I got these, excuse me, got these things and purchased these things. So all these right here are picture frames that I pay like $2, $3, $2.50, whatever. So I'll go ahead and like take this and um wrap it around, make a read, do something. What y'all will see um so yeah this is what that for i got that for i just can't go back here oh god there's so much stuff so then yes i got those canvas i got all my magazine i love magazine going through magazine getting some ideas reading about stuff um i've been collecting these or getting these um i don't have no more subscription because this is just a set i got more downstairs and i haven't been through them reason because we've been moving so i'm just kind of stock them up there so I got to go through them now. And this doll right here. I think this doll. I bought this doll for my daughter when she was six. And it's still around you guys. She's still looking so pretty and beautiful. Just like my daughter. Um, I use this doll to try out some new hairdos. And stuff like that. I think that's what you say. Hairdo. But um, yeah. So um, I did a crochet uh braiding for my next door neighbor daughter and she also is i know to do the box braid and i tell her no but i was gonna buy here i'm try it out with this doll and um see how that works so there you go that's another stuff your girl can do um i do year two so over here i got the this uh i need to get a bigger one this one is actually too small for what i need to do when i'm working and I got some, uh, oops, the light, color, pencil, a little, little fancy little trash can bin to put stuff. And then, yeah, you guys, I'm not bossy. I'm the boss. <laughs> so I got some pins. I also like to collect pins. So like I said in another video, when I get more organized, um, you will see my little collections because they will be all together. So that's the group. Uh, over here I have more little stuff like all these things here get them in the some on the dollar store some in the Hobby Lobby you know stuff like that some of them might collect them through the years I don't even know what I have in here like this give me a break oh, oh my gosh then here have other little things other little stuff then let's see over here we got more little stuff here i got my embossing blocks things oh i'm gonna have fun oh the lighting in here i got one of those little ring small one i didn't buy the big one because like i said I just starting so i don't want to go ahead and invest in all these stuff and then when you look i don't use them or i don't know to use them so i'm trying to do my best with my little cell phone here to try to give you all a good little quality video okay here in this let me see what i have in here these are christmas little tags some names and stuff get in there. here i have the crop the scrapbook um little uh, photo albums what i have in here got more paper to do the my cars here's the paper Oh, and as you see, when I think I, I think at the beginning, I did show you underneath the bed that I start separating stuff. Over here, I have more things from the, um, oh, 
some of them I take it off because this was not $4.99, you guys. This was probably like a dollar and change, you know, like I say. I love getting those little things because they do for my um rates and stuff. And over here, all these. Now, you might don't believe what I'm going to say, and that's perfectly fine. But y'all guys out there that craft and do DIYs and stuff should know. Um, This old bag, this old area. I have not paid the full price for none of these ribbons or burlaps or lace. I like to go to Hobby Lobby and Walmart and any other Michaels and go to the clearance aisle. And then I got them. Y'all guys know these from Hobby Lobby. Usually they're like 8, 10 or something like that. There was 40% off or there was totally marked down of clearance. Like this one, it say $6.99. But I got it for two, two thirty eight. So yeah, most of these, all of them, not most of these. Take that back. Yeah. So because they they quite expensive. So I just get to go to the sale, and if that day I don't see none on sale, guess what? I don't purchase none. As simple as that. And over here, like I said, start sorting off the stuff. Ugh. These are. Valentine, I know you guys see this. I got this one for dollar in the dollar store. So, coming up next year, God first, we'll be doing Valentine's right now. This coming week to finish this month, I'm gonna try to do some, um, some spring and Easter wreath. So, kind of trying to sort it out. And then, those that are supposed to do some, um, Halloween and Christmas one, but then. I wasn't feeling too good so I'm like oh, I can't deal with it you know but now that I finally decided where to put my craft room I like I say I'm planning to start my little home business and doing reads and craft and little things like that so I gotta get with the program you guys so okay moving around here I have this this picture I had this picture in the garage set up with my massage thing when I was in Florida, but um, now I'm not doing a massage no more. Uh, so yeah, I put it up here since it go with my color team. Then I have my little record thing here to hear music. I guess so if you work record somewhere both there, but I don't know, it's somewhere in there. So, so yeah, so that's that. So all right, you guys, now that's the room. So the idea. Of this room what I want to do next is see where this little area whoopsie right here and over there I want to get two of those Alex draw to put in the side for more better storage I was thinking probably get the long one to go with the length of these little expedite cubicle um, bookshelf thing but if I do that it's gonna cover the lighting and it's going to defeat the purpose of putting the desk there. So, yeah. So, that's what I want to go ahead and do. And then over here on this wall, where I tell you all guys the beds that the boys used to use. I want to go ahead and convert this area and put like a day bed. That way I will have the entire center of the room to put a craft desk or something like that. So, okay. Now, that is that. Now, let me take you all into where the rest of stuff is now embrace yourself voila oh tada here we go yeah all these are clothes um thing that i'm cleaning out my closet that's another stuff like i say now that i finally realized and kind of decided where i want everything everything is just kind of like Throw in that area, in that closet, in that room, in that drawer, that dresser. You get the drill. So now I'm going to go uh, every day or every now and then, I don't know, depending on my mood, to um, take a video and show y'all guys and let you see how I'm going advancing and, you know, starting to get the house looking like how I would really like it to look. When we purchased the house, we did a little upgrades and stuff. I think that's what you call it and put in certain things but at the same time i wanted to stay as a white canvas um 
that way I could build and change and do stuff the way who I wanted to really look because there was something in the model home that I like but geez it costs a lot and I ain't no millionaire so yeah so having said all that you know this uh this is the other the the walk-in closet for this particular room so here I got all these things in you know trying to get organized i still don't know what i want to do in here i don't know if i want to put shelf i want to put bookshelf i want to put drawers i don't know um i've been looking at some videos once i'm talking i'm going to just go ahead and um move around the phone so y'all can see you i just have things throw about in there uh like i said i've been looking at some videos on youtube you know kind of like to get some ideas of what is it y'all YouTubers doing over there that is in my area, what I'm trying to do, you know, home decor, vlogging, a little bit of my life, my travels and stuff like that. Because um, I see some people have one, two, three channel. I really don't want to go into that because it is a job. Um, the reason I, I did this open up or I don't know what you would say, YouTube channel is just the fact of finding something to keep myself busy you guys um from my start having kids my kids i've been with my kids 24 7 literally speaking and know that they've grown and gone it's like i don't know what to do so i have friends and family that tell me well you know to do so much stuff you know to cook you know to decorate you know to do reese you know to, why don't you go ahead and just do it as a business so that's kind of what i'm trying to do right now so yeah but as, oh, as i was saying you know i look at some channels and um some of them where they talk too much they got too much music in the background they don't write stuff or they write too much i mean it, there's one word for that it is overwhelming so i decided you know what i am not going to look at no more youtube channel and if i do it gotta be ones that i really like or some different stuff that what i am planning to make my youtube channel do and let me tell you there are some few channels that i've been looking at lately that i love and it got nothing to do with home decor it's more lifestyles and and i realize it's more young people not people my age not to say that i'm eight um eight uh, that, that i'm old but in a way you know uh but um not that old either i'm just 48 so i'll be 49 this year so um yeah so um yeah i've been looking at that you know there's one particular couple i like uh one day i was just flipping through and find her channel and um decided to start looking at her oh her name is uh what's your name keisha keisha Ooh girl if you ever see this video i apologize i think her name is keisha kaylee and she have a set of twin girls the baby's girl named jaya and jorney yeah i don't know what is it with that girl and her fiance or boyfriend i just love her she just i don't know it's just pure uh positive energy so um yeah i like her i've been looking at her uh a lot so um but yeah but moving on to my stuff coming back down <laughs> to me you know sometimes you guys i want to uh warn you all about this i could start talking about something and then i jump to something and then i jump back to the other thing so that's a thing that i have so eventually as you subscribe to my channel hopefully um you will notice that so i guess we all have a little you know thing that we do sometimes we don't even notice it but to somebody point us find attention to us but i think everybody is unique in their own way so um yeah but um yeah so i decided not to look much and know youtube decorating stuff and just kind of do mine and and then go from there and rely on y'all guys you know the subscribers or the viewers like in the comment you know tell me well you would like me to do this uh if you don't like me talking too much or if you like my videos to be less than 20 minutes because i noticed this one going for 24 and i'm trying not to go over 30 so um 
yeah things like that you know give me a little ideas nothing crazy you guys because i'm not in the stage or the age to do nothing crazy i'm trying to live to see my future grandkids just saying um just give me something to do you know i have a few ideas i would like to do on my own that i have not seen in the in the videos that i've been looking at so yeah so wait for those so all right let me go ahead and finish this video call like i said i'm trying not to let it go over 30 minutes and i'm already in 25 so right here you know i got these little pop things i like the minions i'm a little girl at heart i like the minions other stuff here's my little one dollar tree from marshall's marshall's that i paint um all the little toys and stuff that you see like i tell y'all guys earlier i buy these stuff and then when christmas come i will take them to the church to get a kiss for christmas this i saw this arrangement in um kirkland's like for 16 or 18 dollars i like no but you guys i didn't take a picture of theirs that was last year mine's look much better for lesser so yeah so as you see i do my raise i do these i'm gonna put these on my site my site um my instagram page is simple elegant reads um like i said i'm new with this stuff i'm not editing that much but i'm gonna try if it's not i'm gonna put it below in the description box so you can follow and see the reads them that i made so far and eventually a couple days or a month hopefully i could have my website or you know where you can purchase any reads that you might like so um check that out simple elegant read so yeah so that's it you guys so this cover this video oh, let me go ahead and really quick show you all how many stuff more i have to organize it might be looking a little shady right there all those flip-flops to make reads then here oh child i got more stuff i need to get with the program maybe when i start making the reads on the things i'll have more room you know to sort it out better because right now that's the problem i need to start making stuff so all these containers i got them for a dollar in um home depot is it home depot yeah home depot and here i got more thing so yeah there you have it all right now so um yeah so that's where my craft room would be located Ooh, the sun gone down so the room looking a little dark so that's it so i want to thank y'all guys for watching like i say you know any suggestion any comment and if you like something go ahead and and and, and leave a comment let me know i mean i never used to write comments um when i see something and i say you know what is people doing these things them and um loading it for us to see it i think that we really appreciate a little comment or a like if you truly like it now if you don't like it well you don't like it you know but if you see one two or three things that you like go ahead and leave a comment let me know what you think about it let me have a conversation with you through the comments i like to talk you know um and i would like to become your cyber friend so um there you have it so i'm gonna go ahead and finish this video and um hopefully next time i take a video of my craft room I will have one or two, three things switch up to share with you. So in the meantime, you guys, like always, um, please like, share, subscribe, comment, uh, all those fancy things that the YouTubers tend to say and I'm learning to say too. Uh, but most importantly and all, thank you for watching. And like always, stay blessed or be beautiful or be beautiful. Stay blessed, whichever order, order you want to put it but just stay blessed and um i will be seeing you well talking to y'all guys in my next video so um y'all have a wonderful and beautiful and blessed day so talk to y'all guys later love you bye for now